Storm Team 10 radar taking a scan. Working this evening, most of us are dry. Maybe a few sprinkles towards the highlands, but really not much hitting the ground right now. It's hitting the ground off to our west into the Ohio River Valley with that cold front, and you can clearly see where it is on satellite. Radar will expand the view, and you do see that low pressure right there and the trailing cold front all the way down towards the Gulf Coast where there's severe weather going on towards the deep south right now. All of this heading our way. We're not going to watch the severe weather for tomorrow, but we are tracking that much needed rain. Right now, neighborhood numbers 50 degrees in Roanoke, 39 chilly degrees in Hot Springs or 49 in Lexington if you're watching in Danville at 50 degrees and 43 in Hillsville. So the call for tonight, we are cloudy. The numbers, as a result, not too chilly into the mid to upper 40s with the southeasterly wind. And the winds really start to gust here, especially towards the higher ridge tops in the New River Valley, exceeding 40 miles per hour at times. So the highest elevation is going to be very gusty. The rest of us winds about 15 to 20 miles per hour. So future tracker at 7 o'clock, you're out and about. It's going to be dry, but we advance future tracker towards midnight. You do notice some of those lighter showers entering the highlands in the New River Valley, advancing it towards tomorrow morning. Yes, it's going to be a wet morning commute with scattered showers around and notice the pops of yellow. So some of those could be a little bit heavier at times into the afternoon. It's more scattered in nature. Not everybody going to see rain all day long and for the afternoon, more dry time than wet time. And then we get another round of rain here for our Wednesday morning rush. And some of that could be very heavy with some locally heavy rainfall and maybe a clap or two of thunder with this as temperatures spike up into the middle to upper 60s. So how much rain are we talking about? Huh, we need this rain. Look at these numbers up to an inch to two inches. Lesser amounts for south side, maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch. Higher totals off to the north and west into the highlands locally. Three inches of much needed rain. So here's what to expect for tonight into tomorrow. The rain develops around midnight and shortly after. Again, it's going to be gusty at the ridge tops with winds up to about 50 miles per hour. So some of those trees may topple over some isolated power outages, not out of the question. And then a wet morning commute, more dry time in the afternoon and evening with just a few spotty light showers. So for tomorrow, look at the number 66 in Roanoke, 68 degrees in Lynchburg, flirting with 70 degrees for the end of November here in Southside, 67 in Blacksburg with some of those scattered showers. We open up your Storm Team 10 extended forecast. 68 degrees for Wednesday. Rain likely. Some of it could be locally heavy. We dry out for our Thursday. A little bit breezy, sunny, cooler. 56, upper 40s for Friday. Partly sunny. And the weekend right now looks mainly dry. Could see a stray shower Sunday. But it is chilly with temperatures into the upper 40s to near 50 degrees. 55, the forecast high. One degree off today. 54, Ooh. $10 for mm. today. 570 bucks so far for the month. So, so we needed close. the rain. I know. We needed the rain. Mm -hmm. We're going to get it. All right. Well, it'll be here. 100% yeah. chance there's no room for air there. No, there's not. Mm. <laughs> if it doesn't rain, I'm out of here. You're crying. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. All right. We're going to hold Thanks, it. All right. <laughs>